Hello and welcome to Hank Games. Hank. My name is John Green. I'm in the business of solving your problems. And by the way, I think if we win today, we're going to secure uh, the League One title. All of our, uh, all the people against us have fallen away. You can see it right there. Five games to go after this game. Four games will be up by, I don't know, maybe we won't win the title, but we're going to be in great shape. We just need to win today. And we're at home and we're against Scunthorpe, which doesn't even sound like a real place. I feel really good about our chances. Today's problem comes from Linz. Let's see there. Yeah. All right. I like it. Uh, Jay Morris has scored a lot of goals for Scunthorpe, but I don't know why Paul John Green always like respectfully covers his private parts when he's standing at attention. But anyway, Linz has a problem, which is I like playing video games with my family as a way of hanging out, but I'm exponentially more terrible at video games than anyone else in my family. Linz, rarely have I found a problem so relatable. As you can see, we've st we're starting with a midfield uh, largely of youngsters. Uh, Kaja, Ant Hardigan, Jimmy Abdu, who's 34 years old. I don't know why I'm calling him a youngster. Uh, but I want to give the kids a tryout today because um, we're looking at next season. And I am wondering... Are Kaja and um, Ant Hardigan good enough to stay on the Wimbly Wombly's, or should we uh, move on? And it's a big question because it looks like we're going to get promoted. By the way, have I ever told you about my deep hatred of green uniforms because I think that they're cheating because they fade into the background so perfectly? That's good. That's Oh, my God. He's so fast. Pass to your husband. Oh, we try to get fancy. As you can see from the fact that I failed to finish there um, and the fact that I've been playing this game for seven years and I still suck at it, I am really bad at video games, Linz. I'm worse at video games than you are. And it can be really frustrating to be bad at video games because it, our culture, you know, values video games a lot these days. Like people, you know, like video games are a big part of a lot of social uh, experiences and it's just not that fun to it's not that fun to suck at something that everybody uh, you know everybody like cares about uh, that said there are ways that you can work with what you got the first thing that I, I would do and I always recommend this to people who say they suck at video games is I would uh, try to play some video games cooperatively because if you have friends who are really good at video games it's basically like a way of like handicapping themselves to play with you and I think that's good for them in a lot of cases I think like you know your friend thinks they're so good at Call of Duty well can they win Call of Duty with you sucking it up you know like are they still good if you're like uh constantly rolling around on the ground um screaming while they're trying to like be super subtle about their uh military moves or whatever another thing that I like to do is I like to play video games from a different perspective than people who are good at video games play video games so for instance most people when they play Fortnite they're trying to like win right they're trying to like the idea of Fortnite is it's a battle royale game so 100 people are dropped into a place and only the last one who survives wins like it's like the Hunger Games except um, it's a video game and it doesn't have as much biting social commentary so most people play Fortnite and they go around and they try to like shoot all the other people in Fortnite. And that's fun. I bet it's really fun if you're good at shooting people. Like I bet that I'm sure that is the most fun way to play the game. Unfortunately, it's not a way that I can effectively play the game because I suck at shooting people. It's always been one of my weak points. Um, and I never thought it was going to be a big issue because, you know, like I didn't... <sighs> How could I possibly have foreseen a world where your ability to shoot people with a controller would be like one of the top 10 skills that you can have in the job marketplace? Certainly, if you're going to be a professional YouTuber, being good at video games is way better than being bad at video games. But again, Linz, just like you, I've got to work with what I've got. And what I've got is an extremely low level of video game talent. Now, some people say like, oh, it's mostly about hard work. I know it's not. I'm bad at, it gotta be, there you go. I mean, just as I said, I'm bad at video games. One husband to another husband. Oh, oh, look, they surrounded the, they surrounded the goalie. They hugged with the goalie between them. It wasn't enough for John Green to humiliate the goalkeeper by scoring from that angle. He knew that his husband had a better chance and he just, he made it so easy. And then John Green fired it right into the middle of the net. 
smooth as you'd like. Mr. Managerino getting his heart rate up a little bit, which is important when you're in your 80s. Beautiful to watch. As beautiful as Bald John Green's complete cue ball head. Really magnificent. Super proud of him. And we are that close now to securing championship football next season. We're going to the second tier of English football, guys. It's incredibly exciting. So... Maybe I don't suck at video games. Just kidding. I do. Um, so anyway, like I can't play I can't play Fortnite the way that you would play Fortnite if you were really good at video games. And I wasn't like the other thing is that like I wasn't good. It's not like video games passed me by. I mean, they did, obviously, like, you know, the last video game that I played for hundreds of hours. I might have played FIFA. However, however many minutes you've seen me play FIFA is how many minutes I've played it. But like, um, it's not like video games passed me by and I was good at them once. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Ball John Green off of a beautiful pass. And maybe I should be starting the kids because whoever made that pass, that was influential. And then a beautiful finish from Ball John Green. Really a wonder to behold. He said, I mean, he's just had a great season despite, um, despite injury, despite challenges. He, the kid has just no quit in him. And by kid, I mean person who's almost my age and has a child. So, like, I, I remember, like, I sucked at Super Mario Kart. Like, everybody else, I mean, I, I mean uh, Super Mario Brothers. Like, everybody else beat Super Mario Brothers, and I never beat it. Like, I, I, I sucked at video games. I sucked at Tetris. I sucked, you know, like, I sucked at Castlevania. I really suck at, like, strategy games. You know, like, I could never beat strategy games, and... There, this was in the days before you could look up hints on the internet and everything, and so I'd have to, like, buy Nintendo Power Magazine. Nice view of the male toilets there. I have to buy Nintendo Power Magazine to try not to suck, which was humiliating in and of itself. So what I eventually came to, Linz, is that I'm never going to be good at video games, but I am good at some stuff, and one of the things I'm good at is c constructing narratives in my head. So I play games where I can construct a narrative that makes sense to me, where I can construct a narrative that feels compelling to me. Well, it might be taking AFC Wimbledon to the Premier League, for instance. Um, it might be, uh, you know, uh, instead of like trying to win, beat Super Mario Odyssey, I might instead try uh, to be the... Um, like, for, like, three hours of playing Super Mario Odyssey with my kid, I had a rule that all we couldn't try to get any power moons. All we could do was hang out in New Donk City and see who there was to talk to and what there was, what there was, to, uh, what there was to do other than get power moons. So, like, I try to take, like, an explorer's perspective. That was a fantastic goal. Congratulations, Oho. Don't be surprised if you're a Wimbly Wombly next season. That was good stuff, man. Oho. It's a great name, too. Could be Ojo. Could be Ojo. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I try to construct narratives uh, that, that aren't necessarily in the game, but that like I can, I can play according to my rules and have fun. I know that that might not, might not work socially, but I think sometimes it does. Um, and then the other thing that I do is, I like, for instance, when I play Fortnite, I play as a pacifist. So... I try to think to myself, what would actual John Green do in this battle, ro like crazy battle royale situation? And the answer is, of course, that I would like, all, I would die every single time. You know, like that, that goes without saying. That's a beautiful pass to ball, John Green. My God, who's making those passes? And that's a magnificent finish for his hat trick. And he does the rugby celebration right over the line. I mean, who is making those ridiculous passes? Good Lord, they're magnificent. They're just absolutely cutting Scunthorpe open. And at this point, it doesn't matter that we're giving up goals because we're scoring more. John Green, John Green, and John Green. A hat trick, a 62-minute hat trick uh, for the great one, for Ball John Green. Just an absolute, he's having an absolute world-class game, um, and he's playing third-tier football. And when you play third-tier football and you have a world-class game, you score three goals every time. So anyway... 
um, like, you know, like this is actually a good example, right? Like I make up characters in FIFA who are really good so that I don't have to play with the regular players because I'm not good enough to play with them. Um, so yeah, when I play Fortnite, I try to play as a pacifist and that, you know, almost always means it does always mean losing, but like, it means like sometimes I make it, sometimes I go out 93rd and sometimes I go out, you know, third. Like there's a, oh, there's never a chance that I'm going to win the game, but there's always a chance that I'm going to like go far. Um, and then I don't have to like practice my shooting or anything. I can just, um, although I don't know, sometimes when I play Fortnite, I do think, look, if somebody, if I'm, if I'm in a battle royale situation and I don't know if I'm ever going to play Fortnite on this channel, but if I'm in a battle royale situation, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't shoot anyone. It's that I wouldn't shoot anyone until and unless they shot at me. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel like it's okay to shoot back, but I have to, I've never killed anyone. So, uh, there you go. That's, that's my level of skill. My level of skill is have never killed anyone yet, but I guess there's always time. There's always this, there's always tomorrow. Um, a really good game here. I think Ant Hardigan's had a good game, although he just gave up the ball there. I think Kaja's had a really good game. Like, um, and I think Jimmy Abdu, who hasn't been playing all season long, uh, because they're players who are technically much better than he is, uh, should have been playing for us because he has had a, a great game. So I'm super proud of the way the boys have played. And look at that. John Green, he's just, I mean, the guy has no freaking give up. He's going to try to get his husband another goal. Oh, John Green just like went, it was like he'd been shot in the back the way he went down. But uh, that's all right. There you go. There's Will Nightingale doing work. That's nice. Oh, look at John Green. Look at John Green. Just schooling him. Schooling him. Shoot from outside. Oh, it's four goals. It's four goals and he's unstoppable. It's another rugby celebration. It's four goals. An absolute masterclass from the great one. The greatest player, I would argue, in the history of the Wimbly Womblies. Ball John Green doing what, frankly, his husband has struggled to do all season long. Putting in work from outside the box, no less. Oh, humiliated him right in the side netting. What a game for Ball John Green. Fantastic game for the Wimbly Womblies. Four games left in the season. At this point, it's a celebration. You know, at this point, we're just having fun. Hopefully, we're going to get a couple guards of honor. I don't know if they do guards of honor in third-tier English football, but they should uh, because we have had a season to remember. Congratulations to the Wimbley Womblies, and thanks to everybody for watching. I mean, it's a huge win for us. Ball John Green, get, take that match ball, buddy, because you scored four goals on five shots. Congratulations. Well, just an absolute master class. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.